Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Questions, ideas about what you'd like to see on here, please let me know. Austin.onik at WREG.com. Currently seeing some very quiet conditions across much of the Mid-South area. Dry for right now, not good news. We'll take a look at the burn ban situation, which has increased in the last couple of days with new counties added to Tennessee. And we'll also take a look and see what's going on for the chances of rain coming up in the extended forecast. Some for Election Day, not great chances, but better chances possible later on, depending on how the models shake out toward about Veterans Day. But as of right now, limited chances of rainfall, which means the dry weather will continue, as will the wildfire risks. So we have to be careful with anything involving flame outdoors in the near future, because we could be looking at some possible life-threatening situations if the fires get a little bit too big, and that is possible, so we have to watch that. Current forecast, red bar at the bottom of your screen. 70s winds out of the east today, switching to the southeast and mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, kind of varying back and forth on that. For later on tonight, temperatures will be back into around the 50s across much of the Mid-South area. Very pleasant, maybe a few mid to upper 40s as well by the time we hit tomorrow morning, so not looking too bad across much of the area. Currently seeing temperatures in the 50s as the golfers are out and about on Windy Country Club's course and increasing to the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s by mid to late this morning. Sunshine will be blocked out by clouds at times, but we should see some sunshine out there looking very mild. Temperatures just a bit above normal as we go into early this afternoon. If you haven't remember the time change, remember Remember to turn your clocks backward one hour as we saw the daylight saving time come to an end last night. Cool enough this morning for a hot cup of java. And if you're heading out the door pretty soon and won't be back until later, you may want to plan on something to cool you off because it will be a little bit on the warm side out there a little bit later on on News Channel 3's exclusive cough temp decks for Saturday for Sunday and looking very quiet into the rest of the week. Hopefully staying quiet where it comes to earthquakes. No major problems on the New Madrid fault line. None to report within the last 24 hours according to the United States Geological Survey and information also from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. Losing daylight, sunrise was at 627 this morning. Sunset will be at 501 tonight. 10 hours, 33 minutes of daylight. 628 the sunrise tomorrow morning. And 5 o'clock will be sunset. So 10 hours, 32 minutes of daylight as we approach the solstice in about a month and two weeks, believe it or not. We're dry as can be. We have received no rainfall for November. Very dry October, very dry September. Our surplus from earlier this year is drying up. No longer are we over a foot of rainfall in the plus side column. We're now only about eight and a half inches out there, so we could definitely use some more rainfall. The current situation at this time, we've got an elevated wildfire risk, that according to the National Weather Service in Memphis across the entire Mid-South. Not enough for a what's called a red flag fire alert, but we could be seeing, again, the possibility of some very good conditions for conducive to wildfires to develop. And you know, as it's been demonstrated, all it takes is one stray cigarette bud to set off a very large wildfire, so something to consider if you are a smoker, please keep those butts in the car just to be on the safe side. Now, as of right now, we've got about 15 counties in Arkansas that have been added to the burn ban list over the course of the last several days. So again, for Arkansas, we have numerous counties out there, none of which are in effect for the News Channel 3 viewing area. We are currently burn banless in Arkansas, but for Mississippi, all the counties in Mississippi are currently under burn bans at this time. So as of right now, if you're in Mississippi and watching News Channel 3 by broadcast, you are now under those burn bans until further notice. Tennessee, we now have burn bans being added to the list, which is a very good sign that the situation is not improving. All of these counties are in East Tennessee, none of which are in effect for the Mid-South area, but it is a possibility we could see more burn bans issued on this side of the state back into the course of the next several days. So we'll be watching that with a lot of interest. Yesterday's highs and lows, very typical for what we should see at this time of the year. Record high, last set back in 1914. And look at a record low back into around 25 degrees back in 1967. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures cool this morning, but rising pretty rapidly from mid-morning onwards, lower to mid-70s by early this afternoon. And temperatures will be falling off early around sunset, which will be at about 5 o'clock this afternoon. 
excuse me, and looking again at temperatures dropping into mid-evening as well, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. And heading into tomorrow morning, kids at the bus stop may want to think about a jacket or a light coat. They won't need it during the rest of the day, but with just a bit of a breeze, that's going to be pretty uncomfortable for standing around waiting for the school bus or walking or bike riding to school. So definitely want to make certain everybody is properly prepared before you head out the door for tomorrow. It's mid-70s for high temperatures today, partly cloudy skies, clouds coming and going throughout the rest of the day, but no rainfall expected. Likewise, a pretty similar forecast for Monday, a beautiful day coming up. Tuesday, don't let a little rain stop you from getting out and casting your ballot, looking very nice for temperatures, spot on normal for this time of the year. But chances of showers throughout the day and into the afternoon could be lingering until about Wednesday drive time. Now, so far on Veterans Day for Friday, we do not have any rain in the forecast. You see a 0% there, but we may be seeing the possibility of some showers develop in the forecast depending on what goes on with the models but the possibility of that is very slim it is still potential but right now we're going to take the zero percent approach and change it as we go throughout the next few days but so far I'm not looking at any problems there cooler into next weekend lower to mid 60s should be gorgeous weather for outdoor next weekend by the time we hit the lower to mid 60s that's pretty comfortable and then mid to upper 60s to lower 70s by the time we hit next Monday into Tuesday so very calm very dry and very very pleasant out there. Tonight, an Iridium satellite will be flaring at about 6.02 p.m. Different from the satellite yesterday, the Iridium 21, this is Iridium number 70. There is a network of these communication satellites up there, and they reflect sunlight very nicely. So right about 6.02 p.m., heading toward the northern horizon, you should be able to see this pretty nicely. Again, it'll fade in, get really bright, really bright, in fact, on this one, and it'll fade out just about as quickly. The whole thing takes about 20 seconds to happen, so you're going to have to be watching for this. Northeast skies very carefully, and keep an eye on this. The other problem we've got is the fact that we could be looking at partly cloudy conditions out there as well, so something to watch out for, and unfortunately with the clouds out there, it could be a bit of an interference, but one good thing to be able to see, that's about the best satellite spotting possibility for tonight. Now, into the rest of the forecast tonight, again, partly cloudy skies could could interfere by just a little bit. The Kennan Observatory on the University of Mississippi campus will be holding a free viewing session tonight for public, the families, the kids, all opportunities to see uh, the moon, star clusters, nebulae, weather permitting. So hopefully they'll be able to see something. If this gets canceled, we will let you know about it. But again, the problem we're going to be looking at for later on tonight is going to be the possibility of seeing uh, the partly cloudy skies out across parts of the Mid-South. So this is going to be uh, just a bit of a problem here for later on. If this gets canceled, which hopefully it won't, we'll let you know. But in the meantime, if you'd like to know more about that, head to my social media pages, all available at WRAG.com. Memphis underscore Tom, thanks for a great picture, a double sunrise picture from Hernando, Mississippi, early this morning, the first one of non-daylight saving time. Wyndham underscore Maria, thanks for a great sunrise at Sardis Lake. Beautiful colors from around northern Mississippi there. And Deborah J54 from Humboldt, Tennessee. Gorgeous sunrise being seen in West Tennessee from early this morning. Got anything you'd like to tweet to us? Aonic underscore WRAG3. Aonic under... Er Aonic no underscore necessary Instagram and Austin Onic WREG on Facebook. You'd like to tune in for the weather forecast throughout the weekend. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the EAB network. And of course, don't forget to tune in bright and early Monday morning for your forecast with Bob and Josh on Memphis in the morning first, then talk back live. A good opportunity to keep up to date with weather on Yahoo Sports Radio AM 730 in the Memphis area. And if you like our app, whatever your app, whatever your phone or pad is that you use, go to your particular app store and search WREG Weather if you'd like to know more about that. We'll have a double header of NFL football today, so we will be on News Channel 3 anytime for our 5 o'clock news, probably on the air at about 5.30 and then available at WREG.com or also, again, on our Anytime channel after that. And with the double header kind of pushing things back by a little bit, it's a good possibility that we will be on very late tonight, but stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 and especially WREG.com where we keep you up to date on what's going on with the weather situation in the Mid-South. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3 video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from downtown Memphis at the News Channel 3 studios.